We're still arguing with the DNC and trying to get them to hold actually a fair election. They're punishing the states that did not vote for President Biden the last time by basically disenfranchising the voters, making it so that if you live in New Hampshire, you cannot vote for anybody but President Biden this time around. DNC is meeting today to lay out their primary calendar and the rules for their election, but RFK Jr.'s campaign says it wasn't invited. Mm, the 2024 hopeful has been sounding the alarm for weeks, claiming the party is rigging the election for President Biden. His campaign manager, former presidential candidate, also a former mayor of Cleveland, Ohio, yes. former congressman. He has worn a lot of hats in his career, and he's wearing <laughs> one now. Dennis Kucinich joins us now. Sir, thanks for being here. Look, the inner workings of this hi, can hi. get <laughs> hi to you as well. The inner workings can get very wonky, especially for 536 in the morning. But simply put, how is the DNC undermining the primary process in favor of Joe Biden and against your candidate, RFK Jr.? Well, it, it works out this way. At this point, the DNC is the Biden campaign, and the Biden campaign is the DNC. Right after President Biden announced, the uh, head of the DNC said, we're with him. Uh, their, their fundraising is coordinated. They're working out of the DNC's headquarters, the Biden campaign. So, you know, they can move the goalposts, they can change the sidelines. And here you have uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as a leader who's fighting for voting rights of the people in a way that's forthright and courageous. Just to get into some more details here, your camp says that the DNC will not permit votes for RFK Jr. Uh, to count in New Hampshire, even if he wins the primary there. Uh, RFK Jr. Mm -hmm. also says the DNC wants him and Marianne Williamson to pay to be a part of the primary. primary. Is that true? What do you mean by those things? Well, there's pres uh, first of all, with respect to New Hampshire, uh, again, you have to keep in mind, we're saying DNC, you also be the Biden presidential campaign. What they're saying is that in New Hampshire, uh, because uh, Mr. Kennedy has campaigned in New Hampshire, they're saying, well, you know, that's not uh, according to our rules. You campaign in New Hampshire, doesn't matter how many votes you get, doesn't matter if you win the primary, those votes aren't going to count. You're not going to get any delegates. Now, that's not American. And so Mr. Kennedy's pointed out uh, the unfairness of this. But again, the DNC is the Biden campaign, and the Biden campaign is the DNC. And, uh, you know, all these other issues have to be taken through that lens. Yeah, the DNC says that a motion of New Hampshire is to make sure minority voters in South Carolina can have their voices heard and can have their votes count. There is some truth to that. Joe Biden also is president because of the state of South Carolina, so likely trying to punish New Hampshire. Also, let's not forget what's in New Hampshire's backyard, Massachusetts, where the Kennedys are pretty big people. But besides getting out there and calling out the DNC like this, Mr. Kucinich, what else can you do legally to fight this? You know, Mr. Kennedy's taken a very conciliatory approach here. He's, he's written a letter uh, last night to the DNC, uh, directly to the chair and its members, that basically says, look, we're family. What, what, are, we, what are you doing here? It's, uh, by the way, that letter's posted at uh, Kennedy24.com. And so we're trying to in the spirit of uh, 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 Lincoln, with malice towards none, with charity for all, take an approach that's healing. Kennedy wants to heal the country, wants to heal the divide. But you can't do that if the basis of the primary election is rigged. And we're pointing out that there's no difference between the DNC and the Biden campaign and any rules that they make and anything that they say because of that, because they breached the impartiality that the party was promised in 2017 in a party unity reform uh, uh, position. Yeah. They breached it. And so then at this point, it's very difficult to be able to uh, uh, engage uh, sure. the DNC right. without understanding that you're actually talking to Joe Biden's mm. campaign. You have to think if they were confident in their president, they wouldn't be trying to keep you guys yeah. there out. Really we so will be monitoring. Of. Well, you certainly got your message out uh, to our viewers here this morning, Dennis. So thank you for joining thank us. You, we sir. appreciate it. Thank you, Carly. Thanks, Todd. Absolutely. Our pleasure.